Welcome back, Pokemon trainers. Professor Chaz here, the lab coat's on back order, and it's time for episode number 42 of our Pokemon White playthrough here on the channel. As you can see, if you don't recognize this place, we are in the middle of Twist Mountain. It is a very long, maze-like area here in the Unova region, but I think we're almost done. I don't think there's too many more areas to go through, so we're almost through to the next town, which is Icarus City, and we're on our way to our next gym battle. Is it? Isn't there another one? Wait a minute. No, I'm thinking something else. There's another town after Icarus City. Icarus is going to be, well, spoilers. I know the typing of the gym, I think. You know, I might even be completely wrong. Anyway, we're going to find out once we get there. So, what else did we do last episode? Not really that much. Um, you're looking at the layout down below. If you missed the last episode, you're noticing a little bit of a red mark. We got horn drilled. Go back and check that out if you want to see that. Oh, the good luck for Professor Chaz is continuing on the channel. I'm going to talk about luck and how I'm going to be taking things from here on out. I'm a little bit more relaxed and calmed down, you know, after everything's been happening lately. But anyway, let's start things off with our team recap. We have... Are you supposed to be in the lead? Let's assume so. Wiki, our level 36 Litwick, holding the spell tag to boost up ghost-type moves. He is an impish-natured Pokemon with the Flash Fire ability. And the moves are Flame Burst, Hex, Nightshade, and Will-O-Wisp. We've got next up our brave-natured Crocorock, Irwin, at level 37. He has the Moxie ability, which I like so much. The moves are Dig, Crunch, Mud Slap, and Torment. Next is Sailor, our Musharna at level 39, holding the Smoke Ball for quick wild getaways. She is a relaxed Pokemon with the ability Forewarn, letting us know what the strongest opponent's move is going to be. We've got Psybeam, Nightmare, Yawn, and Moonlight. Next is our starting Pokemon, Seaward the Dewwater at level 38, holding Mystic Water to power up water attacks. He is a rash natured Pokemon. The ability is Torrent, of course, and we've got Water Pulse, X Scissor, Grass Knot, and Aqua Jet. And last but not least, our MVP of the team in this region thus far, Medusa, our level 38 Onyx from Sinnoh. She's holding the Eevee Light to boost up her defenses by 50% apiece. The nature is Hardy, which is neutral. We have a Rockhead ability, preventing recoil damage, which does not affect us. And we have Earthquake, Smackdown, Sandstorm, and Rock Polish. You're noticing Snapper is in the team. He is healed up, but that's because the Doctor we talked to earlier healed the whole team, and we can't we can't put Snapper away just yet. As soon as we get to the next town, we will do just that. Now, is everyone in proper level order? Not quite. Sailor, take a back seat for the time being. All right, so let's talk a little bit about luck. And, I mean, just the concept of luck in general. You know, some people... Some people say that is not, you know, there's no such thing as luck. It's all just random chance, ra ra random happenstance. And I mean, yeah, I mean, they're okay. It could be a thing like that. But... There is still the thought that there is a bit of, you know, I've said before I believe in a bit of a balance. If a negative thing happens, a positive thing should happen at some point, or has already happened, to sort of balance it out. It doesn't mean it's necessarily true, but I like to pretend that is how things work, because essentially that, I guess you could call it a coping mechanism in which if I'm having a lot of negative things happen, it can be overwhelming, and I've said that before. I get overwhelmed sometimes, and it's like, I like to tell myself that it's going to lead to better stuff in the future. So that's kind of, that kind of helps you get through the harder times. Now, as far as my particular experiences go with luck in Pokemon lately, I kind of feel like I've done a clean slate wipe, you know? Like, if you've been watching Pokemon Go footage, where am I at? Nowhere. But in winter, I believe this connects to a uh, snow pile, which does let us access another area. But anyway, yeah, I've been talking a lot about the bad luck of Pokemon Go, and it's one of those things where it's like, what have I done to deserve this? S sad fact is, sometimes you don't do anything to deserve bad luck. It just happens. We'll talk more about that as soon as we're done with Team Plasma here. Good point. No one's brought this up yet. I mean, I have. But in game, no one's mentioned this yet. But taking people's Pokemon by force is not right. That is not real strength. Uh oh. Another Team Plasma. Hey, there you are. We found that thing we were looking for. We should head for the tower now. Get this. Team Plasma has obtained the power to change this world and end people's control over Pokemon. We don't control them. That's right. We must use the force. The Force? What is this, Star Wars? In order to right the wrongs of the world! Now let's gather around our king, our Lord N! He's gonna be the end of all things. 
Those guys. I don't know what they found, but they go the extra mile to gain power and cause trouble. What a bothersome bunch. Chaz, I'm going to stay here for a while. I want to think a little bit about what the champion asked me. Man, that's really lingering on him, isn't it? What do I want to do with my power after I get strong? And why do I want to be strong in the first place? See, that leads into the whole mentality of Goku from Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball... I mean, all of Dragon Ball. It's always been Goku's thing. He wants to get strong just to get strong. And you can kind of respect him for that. We're going to try to leave. Really? Oh, looks like I can't use the attractor, Mr. Male Woobat. Out of my sight. Oh, come on. Don't do that. But anyway, so... I, actually, speaking of Dragon Ball Z, or more specifically, Dragon Ball Super, I found myself listening to an English cover of the Limit Break X, or Cross Survivor, the theme song for the uh, Tournament of Power arc of Dragon Ball Super. An English cover by a performer, I believe, named Mark De Groot, and one particular line just really caught my interest with that. It was... How's it go again? Just one sec. Hello, Chaz. How is Litwick? I forget if that's the voice that I gave this guy already. Ah, this Litwick has really taken a shine to you. The Pokedex is important, but time spent having fun together is also important. Say, I just had a thought. Have you heard of Dragon Spiral Tower? Nope. Eh, I'm not surprised you haven't heard of it. It's not very popular. Okay, give this story a listen. Cedric, I was going to tell my own story. Remind me. Mark the Groot, Dragon Ball Super, English cover theme song, and luck and... Whatever. Dragon Spiral Tower is said to be the Unova region's oldest building. Stories say it's the place where legendary Pokemon came to life or where they remain in deep slumber. I know it's just past Icarus City, but that's all I know about it. So that's quite the story we just heard. That's all anyone knows because no one has ever been inside. Hmm. My daughter has wanted to investigate that tower for a long time. What? There's something I don't know. That kind of feeling is pure adventure, and I'm not too old for some adventuring. Away I go to have a look at Dragon Spiral Tower. Catch you later. What do you mean, smell you later? You're Gary Oak, aren't you? You're blue. What was the other name? Was he actually called green in the Japanese version, the rival? I don't know. Icarus City. Remember Icarus City? Sky glittering with flowers of snow. Something interesting about Icarus City is you can get encounters in this water. I'm not going to. Oh, I guess I am going to. Never mind. <clears throat> but we got us a Shellman, I think. Is this the first time seeing this? Anyway... I'm going to put a link in the description to Mark De Groot's cover of Limit Break Cross Survivor. Not that I feel like I'm going to provide much, if any, additional views for him because, you know, he's up here and I'm like down here. But still, just to give you the idea what I'm talking about, there's a line that says, uh, I got to remember it. Uh, hang on, I'll, 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 hopefully it'll come back to me. The legendary Pokemon gave help to the hero who sought truth. Because of that, a region was created. Then, when its physical form was lost, the Pokemon became the Light Stone, waiting patiently for a new hero. I heard that story when I was little. Isn't that something that N was talking about, like stones or whatever? Alright, we're here in the Pokemon Center. I'm going to take just a moment, i got to remember. Don't you hate when you can't think of the lyric? Uh... Something da, 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 depression, but da, da. I forget the exact lyric. I could just listen to it, but I don't want a copyright issue. Basically, it just says, "When when unsure, warriors don't quit." And as weird as it sounds, that one lyric made me took you know take stock of everything going on, the Giratina issue going on, the fact that pinup berries were not showing up. They are now, which is good, but just. All the bad luck lately, the the shinies on Beldum Day. All that was building and building and building. When I heard that lyric, I feel like it's gone. You know, I've taken all that negativity and I've just like three points uh, three points shot at it through like the, the net. So like I'm feeling kind of okay-ish. What I'm not okay about, first of all, we gotta put away our totodile. <sighs> now what we are gonna do here though. I'm going to point something out. First of all, let's get into the injury box here. Let's open this up. we got to put Snapper away. And you know, looking back, I realized I'm pretty sure Snapper was the only Pokemon, the only one on our team, that was the same level as that Excadrill, which did get the Horn Drill off. Any other Pokemon, if I used them, would have been immune to that Horn 
drill, because of course it's based off of level nowadays. You have to be at least the same level or above to land a horn drill or fisher or one hit KO move on the target. It just happened to do that. So that being said, Snapper is put away for the time being. But you might have noticed there's another Pokemon in our box. I mentioned at some point we can't really represent the Dream World in this playthrough because it has been discontinued, so I was going to have to import this particular Pokemon in a different way. But we have a new Pokemon to add into our team. It is Chuck the Bidoof. And we're going to talk a little bit about him. I'm going to put him on the team. Let's add him in right now. We'll do a quick little single Pokemon recap in just a moment here. Do we need to heal? Because I am nervous-ish, we're going to heal. And we'll talk about that. So, was there anything else I was going to say, first of all? The luck issue... Basically... I'm no longer... Like, if a Pokemon breaks out of my Go... Or Pokeball and Pokemon Go, it's like... Hmm, not bad. Well done. Now, if we have the issue like we did with the Electabuzz... During the Giratina video that you probably saw... That might annoy me? But we'll see. Anyway... I feel like there's a clean slate. So speaking of clean slate, we kind of have that in our new Bidoof. So Chuck is a new Bidoof that we have. I generally do not use the same species of Pokemon more than once in my overall teams. I'm making an exception here. He comes from, you can see the uh, the entry link of the Dream World, whatever. He is a lonely natured Pokemon, not holding an item. He's at level 10, which all the Dream World Pokemon do show up at. So Moody, the ability Moody. I found out during my initial playthrough of Pokemon White that the hidden ability, which all Dream World Pokemon do have, was Moody for uh, Bidoof here. And knowing what I know about Moody, well, first of all, I really didn't know how Moody worked. I thought, based on what I read, it would, uh, as soon as you send him into battle, it would randomly boost one stat, randomly drop another. So I thought, that's kind of cool. I like random stuff. I am a fan of Metronome. So, I like the thought of randomness. Anyway, so he's got Tackle, Growl, Defense Curl. Those are going to be changing, of course, as we level them up. And, as it turns out, the way Moody actually works, which you're probably aware of, at the end of every turn that Pokemon's in battle, the stats go up. Now, one stat sharply raises by two stages, another stat drops by one stage. And that doesn't include just attack, defense, speed, stuff like that. Evasiveness and accuracy can also be affected by Moody. Now, that's probably why it's not Smogon competitive, because the accuracy issue, they don't you do that in Smogon. I'm not a Smogonite, Smogon or Smogon, whatever. So, I love Moody. Now, it can kick me in the butt if we do happen to lose accuracy or evasiveness and stuff like that, but overall, the randomness is fun. I love it. Or, 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 or that I adore. Ah, this is where you should laugh, really? <laughs> anyway, I will pay you well for rare ores. Not just ores, stones, gems, shards, anything mineral. I love it all. Don't you have an adorable ore that makes or shakes my core? I don't know. Do you buy the moonstones? Don't need that. Oh, I do adore the ores. 3,000, I'll do that. So this is a man. We can turn a lot of our items into... Good stuff. Does he buy the Stardust? Ooh! Wow! I only sell one at a time, though. Bear with me. We're gonna sell a bunch of our stuff to this man. We're gonna get a lot of money. I wonder where do he buy the gems? The Bug Gem. Let's just see what he says about the Bug Gem. Because it is a gem. It's it's an ore-ish. Yeah? 200? I'm gonna keep it for now. That might come in handy in battle. Only 200 Poke Dollars is not really a big... Uh, return on our investment, I guess you could call it. What else can we give him? We got Big Pearl. You don't... Would you buy those? Hmm. Yeah? 7,500. Not bad. Not bad. What else can we sell this man? Leaf Stone. Would you like to buy the Leaf Stone? Excuse me? Thought you liked stones, man. Weird. Alright, Nugget. He's bound to want the Nugget. Yep. We can start getting some TMs from some shops, actually, with all this. We've got two more nuggets to sell them. Why can't I sell you all three at once? And, question, where does this man get all this money from? What does he do for a living? I don't know. He's probably, you know, done a lot of investing over the years. He looks like he's a pretty uh, well-traveled elderly gentleman. We're going to keep our stones, and since he doesn't seem to want them. Uh, anything else we can sell? I don't think so. 
I don't think he'll buy anything else at an amazing price. So we'll, we'll keep what we have for the time being. But we got a lot of money off of him. All right, what else is happening here in the Pokemon Center? Everybody has a different reason for their trips, and the same can be said for gift giving. I'll give you this to commemorate this encounter with you. That ain't bad. A Brick Break TM. The move Brick Break can remove the protective effects of Reflect and Light Screen. Teehee, are you surprised? I may not look like it, but this old lady used to be a battle girl. So am I. In Pokemon Go. Hello, okay, what can we, uh, can we sell anything to you, actually? Do we not? Well, we don't need the, ooh, not the Amulet Coin, keeping that. The Ultra Balls we do not use, we'll sell those off. What else can we sell away? Hmm. Hmm. Well, I keep saying I don't use the repels. I keep saying I want to use the repel, so I'll keep it for the time being. We could probably sell the, uh, yeah, the different Pokeballs that we don't use. Netball. Netball is now a card in Pokemon TCG with the upcoming Lost Thunder expansion, which is kind of cool. I can sell all of my stat boosters because we basically gain our EVs through battle. And when I say stat boosters, I mean one because that's all we got. I think we're good for now. Now, can we buy... What should we buy? Sorry if this is just a complete day of shopping. We're good for Pokeballs. Uh, maybe another 10 Supers. And probably another 10 Hypers. We got... Whoa, 99. No, thank you. We have 30 already. You know what? Since we got all that money off him, though, we'll buy another 10. And I think... How many full heals do we got? Two... I'm gonna buy 20 of those. I'm gonna use up the other things like the Antidote Paralyzed Heals first of all, but these are a good wild card healing device. All right, we're good there. Now what does this person sell? Watch me, I've already blown all my money and I can't afford what this guy has. Techno Machines, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I can get one of these. <clears throat> so who should we actually consider? Uh, we could get Blizzard for Seaward. Who else we got? We have... Well, I don't think Medusa can get any of that. Or at least if she could, it's not very useful. So Seaward could get Blizzard. We have Sailor, who... I think she could get Thunder, but I like having Psybeam instead. We've also got Erwin, which I don't think any of those are going to help him out. Who else have we got on the team? I know you can see it on the layout. I can't. I add in the layout afterwards. You know what I could even do is just take a look. Save us some time that way. Alright, we got Blizzard, Thunder, and Fire Blast as options. I mean, Fire Blast for w Wiki wouldn't be bad. I just don't like how inaccurate it is. So, we're going to hold off on those TMs for the time being. Let's continue checking out Icarus City. And I think I've covered all the random, or the, the random, the random ramblings I was going to talk about. If you walk in the wetlands, you might surprise Pokemon, sorry, wild Pokemon into popping out. So I'm not going to do any training yet for our new buddy Chuck, but I will probably... Well, since there is a gym in this area... Oh, well, you know what? I think we do Dragon Spiral Tower first, so... I should do some Switch training. We're going to let Chuck take the lead for the time being. In fact, I should actually give him... Do we have a lucky egg? I think we do. Hang on, let me see what we have in here. Uh, yes, we do. So that's going to help speed him up a little bit. I just hope we don't get pursued by anything as we try to do some switch training. But we'll see what happens. The music changed over here. Unless it's just that part of the uh, song. I just heard like an extra... Uh, I don't even know what instrument that would have been. Oh, can I go in here? No, I can't. <gasps> do we have a fishing rod? Wait, 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 wait. We do have the Surf HM. I could teach Surf to a Pokemon. Do I want to do it, though? Actually, I'm just curious. Can uh, Chuck learn Surf? I don't think he'd be able to, although he is an HM slave. No. Only Seaward can get Surf. I'm not going to bother for this random crazy encounter, unless we do have a fishing rod. Where do we get a fishing rod at, then? Ah, we're going to let that bubbly spot go away. Where are, can they, Can you get items from those bubbly spots? I don't even know. Alright, oh wait, what's up here? See, it's been so long since I played this game, I have no clue where I'm going. In fact, there's nothing up here. Wait, hidden item? Not even. 
What's the point of this then? It's crazy. Alright. Let's head up here. We saw some kids doing a little bit of a dance around. What is happening up this way? Spin apart, mix and twirl. What? I gotta get right in there. Spin, spin, turn and spin. Dance, dance, two dragons. What? Mix it up day and night, cause today everything's all right. Nice. Hello, ma'am, lady person. The legendary Pokemon Reshiram shared its wisdom with the hero and defied foes with columns of fire. <gasps> the hero and that Pokemon were as close as parent and child. People were filled with awe and looked up to them. And that is said to be the beginning of what became ancient Unova. Well, Unova... I was going to make a joke about you know something, blah, 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 but you know very much about that. How about that? If we, live in, if we live a monotonous life, do we get used to it and stop thinking about changing it? You could. I mean, anything's possible. Listen, listen. I heard that Bryson was in the movies a long time ago. Movie star. Who's Bryson? They say ideals intermingled with truth and the Dragon Spiral Tower was created. It has been there watching us for thousands of years. I don't know whether or not this is true. Well, let's find out on the television. It's time for your Pokemon. On today's your Pokemon, we will introduce an energetic little one. The Pokemon of this new trainer who is running around Route 2 energetically is the Lillipup called Ran. Creative. Its trainer heads for Route 2 with Ran every day. Ran has never lost a Pokemon battle there, and it refuses to lose to any Pokemon. It's running around the tall grass with its owner today as well. That was Ran, who is very energetic, but not as much as my little Lillipup. On the next Your Pokemon, we will introduce another fantastic Pokemon who is great, but not quite as great as mine. Man! This man. This, maybe it was a female, didn't say. This announcer is very full of his or her or themselves. Ooh, the fans of everything Pokemon, the Pokemon fan club. This is a place for me. Let's see what's up. Welcome to the Pokemon fan club. Shall I check how friendly your Pokemon is towards you? Not yet. Oh, you're so shy. Come on, don't hide your Pokemon from me. Well, I would like to show you someone who's a lot more friendly. Let's go, Seaward. No, you know what? Let's let Medusa have this. We've had her a little bit longer from other generations. I mean, one extra generation, but still. All right, Pokemon Fan Club, check how friendly Medusa is. Of course, we can choose someone from a list. I had a feeling they were going to let us do that. <sighs> oh my, you're Onyx. It is super friendly to you. I'm a bit jealous. Yet we get no friendship ribbon. Wait, do I already have that? Moon! Mm, tell you what, we're going to let her take a look at Seaward. I really don't think you gain a ribbon. I'm fairly certain there were no obtainable ribbons in this generation. Have I been wrong the entire time? Nope. Good to know. Ahem! I am the chairman who loves Pokemon the most among Poke fans in the entire world. I don't know why he sounds like Yoda. If you are a trainer, will you show me how you are raising your Pokemon with loving care? Oh, which Pokemon will you show me? Um, let's go see where. Oh, this duot was level 5 when you met, but now it's level 38. You've raised it well. You must be affectionate. That's nice. Is that a held item in this generation? That is a token of gratitude for showing me your great love for your Pokemon. Because, I mean, if it's a held item, we give it to our... Uh, uh, but then we wouldn't get the extra experience. I was going to say, we could give it to Chuck, and he could just sit back and get the experience. That might be the better thing for starters, till he gets at least on par closer. What are you saying? Glibologa. I don't think that's how words work. Crocker Rock. Glubba Lubba. It is a held item. Alright, so we are going to give this to Chuck. I'm not normally the kind of person that would let a Pokemon sit back and gain experience not even doing anything, but to save us a possible Pursuit Knockout, definitely I will let him uh, sit down at the bottom there. Make sure everyone is in their proper positions. We are good. Okay. What else is going to check out? We only get a couple minutes left for this episode. City Pokemon Gym. The leader is Bryson. Ice Mask. Smoking. Always the tower looms disdainful of the wind and snow. Perhaps its presence has a special meaning for people. Maybe so. Alright, let's go in here and get immediately attacked. What's your name? We? Hi! This way, please! Exciting, thrilling, zippy, chilling. It's Pep quiz, not even pop quiz. Today's challenger is this person. Hiya, welcome. Pep quiz starts now. Answer lots of quizzy questions and watch your brain get brainier. It's not a word. Let's start with a question. 
Ditto. Ditto. A question. What is the wild pigeon Pokemon? I'm gonna say that's probably Pidove. Oh my, it's tremendously difficult. Can the challenger answer this? Ditto. Okay, okay, the audience is asking for a hint. Okay, I'll give you a hint. Hint, it weighs about 33 pounds. Haha, <laughs> this is a good hint. Challenger, please answer. What is the wild pigeon Pokemon? So I'm gonna consult my Pokedex and see. Ah, we know what it is. Let's go to Pokemon. Let's go for... All the way down to the... You know, I probably could have gone the other way and get to the peas quicker. But we're here. Where is Pidov? Let's confirm this one. Don't say Pidgey. Excuse me. Oh no, too bad. We claim that is incorrect. Aw, oh, sadness. Ditto. Yeah, you dustal. Here you go, take this memento, paralyze you. So like, what? If you had let me consult the Pokedex, I would have actually given you the right answer. Exciting, thrilling. See ya. All right, I'm checking that Pokedex. What weighs 33 pounds and is a pigeon Pokemon? That's not the Pokedex. This is the Pokedex, right here. All right, do they actually want Tranquil? I don't even know the weight. I gotta catch them first. Eh. Anyway, we'll assume I was right. The game glitched out. So that's gonna be a wrap for today's video for Pokemon White. We made it here to Icarus City. And I don't know. I'm gonna check out in the next episode tomorrow if we can do the gym right now. If so, I'm gonna explore a little bit first. And actually, no, you know what? I'm gonna pop in right there. Right, th right there right now. We got some time. I mean, we don't. We're already past time. But... I think we can do it. Please take this fresh water. I got the fresh water. Okay. Ice can be melted with fire or shattered with fighting. Or you might want to smash it into dust with rock or steel. Wasn't I just talking last episode? What are all the weaknesses to ice type? Right there. And that's all you have to say, really. So I guess we can do the gym right now. So what I'm going to do first do some training. We're gonna do a little bit of grinding. We're gonna get our new Chuck the Bidoof leveled up, caught up to the rest of the team. So we can go in here and break the ice with a full team of six Pokemon. We'll take care of that in the next episode. But for today, I want to say thank you folks for watching. If you enjoyed today's episode, feel free to let me know by hitting that like button down below. You can also subscribe for some more regular Pokemon content if you want to check some more things out, such as the full Pokemon White playthrough that we have linked in the description. We have that playlist up there for you. And if you want to join as a channel member as well, you can do so at any point. I believe there should be a join button beneath the video if you're on YouTube Gaming. If you're on the regular YouTube page, you might need to uh, go to YouTube Gaming and uh, you know sign up there. You're going to get some cool members-only perks starting up in November. I still got to record the video to put on the main page of the channel to let you know what all that's about. I'll get that ASAP. And if you want to see some more content from myself, we do have links in the description to my Instagram, Twitter, and Discord, where I'll post some more things that are not full video worthy here on the channel. But we got Pokemon Go that I usually put on the other social medias. And what else do we got? Just some more random things that happen, especially some of the 3D modeling I'm doing in my new uh, course that I'm taking as well. All right, but that basically wraps things up. So thank you, folks, once again for watching today's episode. Professor Charles is signing off, and I'll catch you next time.